<laughs> Alrighty, hey you guys, oh, what is going on? G.I. Geogamer here, and today we are back with a, another StarCraft 2 video. And today we are actually going to be doing a bit of Zerg versus Zerg action. Now to start things off, Zerg versus Zerg, starting off in the bottom, um, it is me starting off in the top. It is whoops. Uh, it is all right. Game, if you could. All right, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Mouse and keyboard. Um, confinement. I just saw it. I want mouse confinement. Where did it go? Confine on. All right, accept. All right, there we go. So to start things off, you know, it's me and him. Uh, I just do a standard uh, thirteen uh, overlord opening. I do a pool first, uh, just in case cheese. You know, he did, well, I ma I saturate my base and then do a pool, just in case he decides to go for a cheese. As you can see, he doesn't. He goes for his standard second base. Here we go, we send off our drone, now we're going to take our natural, uh, it'll be a little bit later than his, but we do have that pool just in case we did, um, you know, get rushed. Now, right. there, uh, now, because we're going to be a little bit late, we will be slightly behind on drones in the long run. He goes ahead and sends out this um, a scouting drone, which we actually can quite easily counter. I think I make a couple links here. Um, I wanted to get that drone, unfortunately, we just didn't have enough time. Accidentally sent by in the chat, I was uh, whispering uh, another person. Uh, but anyway, we get our queens going. Um, his pool isn't even done yet. Um, it's just pretty much standard starting. Uh, I was supply blocked here. I've been really trying to focus a lot more on my bases and um, all right, let me move this. I'm sick of this shadow on my neck. Um, I've been trying to focus a lot more on bases and drones. Don't make many troops until 4:30 because if you have the economy to back up your zerg, you know your swarm, you can constantly spend your larva to rebuild your base which is really what I've been working on the most uh, currently. So we go ahead, we send in these links just to see what's up. Uh, as you can see, he has two links there. I don't want to take that engagement. Uh, I already had some more links on the backup coming up here, but as you can see, he already um, has made more links and has two spine crawlers. So basically, this game, because he saw my early pool and these links right here, he expected uh, a ling rush so he's throwing down spine crawlers he's making a ton of zerglings now i saw those zerglings and was like crud he's attacking me so i made eight lings uh not that big of a deal honestly eight is an all right number that's only what 400 minerals i think it's not too bad we had them but as you can see we're going for um ling speed right here and you know just playing a standard game standard standard game we take our um natural we are equal on drones. The, like, I don't know, because he must not have been man managing his economy very well, because I have, like, I don't know, just more stuff than him already. We throw down our Roach Warren, um, and immediately start up... Oh, wait, no, we haven't made our lair yet. Ooh, oh, wow, I made an air. Alright, yeah, I made an error there. Usually I do my lair pretty early. Uh, a lot of people do it late. I decided to do it early most games. Push back his overlord there just to keep that, you know, um, keep him from scouting me and what I'm doing. Got our roaches coming in. Um, wait, why? Oh yeah, it's mutating. That's what that is. Now, if we go ahead and look up here, he's expecting ling aggression. He throws down his bane nest. He takes his extra gas. He's expecting me to rush him with lings. But little does he know that... Uh, I have roaches. I am not... Nah, I ain't gonna get them. Uh, now, I'm curious, does he see these roaches? Alright. He never looked down there. He didn't see my roaches this game. So, we go down roach speed, we make a bunch of drones, you know, just filling up our bases. 
He's getting, um, he got Zerg missile attacks. Oh, he's throwing down his Roach Warren, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, he threw down his Roach Warren, but still, if we look at his army composition, he's got Banelings. He still thinks that I am going to, um, you know, attack him with my Lings. He sees my army and decides to push back immediately. That is not going to do anything against this right here. Uh, and we're just playing pretty solid. We're spending our resources. He starts, you know, building up uh, resource or yeah, getting too many resources, which is a mistake. He makes 16 zerglings. 16 zerglings. That why makes no sense. Uh, we throw down our double evo chamber. They were a little bit late. Uh, <coughs> it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I just got my first creep queen, I believe, throwing down our third hatchery. Uh, he just now started his lair, and uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, I don't know, like, everything went perfect in this game. I went roaches, he went banelings, uh, my upgrades were really late, as you can see, his plus one attack is almost done, and mine's just barely started, but if we go ahead and look at army value, I already, we pretty much had the same army, um, <coughs> except... Mine has a lot of roaches. His has two roaches. Uh, two roaches compared to my six. Um, and sure, you know, he has a lot of lings. I send my zerglings up here, just scout, see, you know, is there a third base? There isn't. Ours is already going down. Uh, we get a lot of resources right here, but we immediately, you know, start spending them again. Uh, this. Alright, that's my third hatch. So, third hatchery is down. We make nine drones. We're just droning up, starting to spread creep now. Uh, which is a bit late, get our uh, overseers going, plus one, plus one on the way, he started up plus two already, as you can see he's starting to make a lot of roaches, but his mistake right now is he does not have, I also threw down my hydra den, how did I miss that? Uh, I did throw down my hydra den right there so I could start, you know, getting those, but uh, I'm not sure how I missed that, uh, but anyway, if we look at his army, he has 39 drones. I have 52. He hasn't even started his third base at this point. Um, it, yeah, he just hasn't even started it. It doesn't make sense whatsoever. Uh, when did I get messaged that? I don't even remember seeing that message. Anyway, his drones are just way behind mine. He hasn't started his third base. His natural isn't saturated. As you can see here, 16 out of 16. 11 out of 16 wasn't, you know, it's not the best. But our third is fully saturated. Looking at our income, I believe it's I. We're making 2,500. He's he's making more gas because he started out with those banelings. He took his early gas. We didn't need to worry about that whatsoever. And at this point, I start actually moving out across the map. You can see I have more army value um, than him. We just have constant flow of roaches and hydras. Uh, we go and get our what uh, muscular augments. All right, that's the Hydra upgrade. We start that up, take our extra gases so we can support all the Hydralisks. And uh, there we go. Our army just continues to grow. We just throw down more and more Hydras. All right, we snipe this Overlord, right? And a little bit later on, we actually managed to snipe another one. It was pretty, uh, pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. And I'm just now realizing that my face cam is not inside my overlay. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, but yeah, back to this. We throw down our fourth at this point. His third isn't even done yet. He's just, his economy can't handle it. If we go ahead and look at army value now, I have, you know, double his gas, an extra thousand minerals just in army. We just have constant flow. 14 links. Uh, I was about to do my push. I had extra minerals. I was like, all right, whatever. We're just going to push with it. And so we uh, we started up, started pushing up down the path here. Um, now, if we look up here, you know, his army is already down here. We see his banelings, how few roaches he has. We move our lings out of the way, snipe that baneling. Now, this was a, like a little bit of weird engagement because he had those extra roaches come in from the side. I wasn't expecting. So I actually went back. But as you can see, we just have a... St look at that. That was our reinforcements. A constant flow. Six more uh, hydralisks, hydralisks on the way. A constant flow of reinforcements coming in. He's making 14 roaches. You don't want roaches. You do not want roaches. They're terrible in supply. They're not worth it. He should have had his fourth base, fifth base by now. 
He doesn't have, uh, does he even have queens running injects? His queens are not really injecting whatsoever. We snap, we, uh, get this third hatchery. Again, more roaches coming in from the side. I believe, um, they do a lot of damage, especially with the little thingies, whatever they're called. So right here, we fall back once again, but look, just a constant flow of reinforcements coming in. Um, our upgrades, he does have better upgrades. That's where I made a mistake in this game. I did not have enough upgrades, but look at how much resources he has just floating. He can't use them. He doesn't have the larva for him. And, um... Uh, he just can't stay up. He has eight roaches. That's his whole army right now. Uh, yeah, we just... He kept pushing for no reason. We had constant reinforcements coming in. We smashed that army back. Again, he's making roaches. Tries to retake his third. Uh, he can't do it. He really can't. Um, my injects were really sloppy this game as well. I did a lot of things wrong. The really late upgrades is what got me. He throws down... He gets plus three, plus two. Bro, make army, man. I don't know. We ended up just, you know, our hydras overpowering roaches as tanks. Push back his army once again and again. We get up here. We managed to force a cancel. And then we just start. Well, I had to go kill the drone. Don't know why I did this, right? It's just that one drone. I don't know why I went and killed it. But anyway, we decided to push up on uh, up here. He has 12 roaches on the way. Will they get here in time? Let's see. We snipe his queens. We, uh, alright, there's some of the roaches, so he has six roaches, three at each base. We take those three easily, get his evo chamber that cancels his plus three, get his gas. The other three roaches are here, they can't do anything, and at this point he knows his GG. We target down his, uh, spine crawler, he has no defenses left, and, um, I believe, yeah, right here, he's about to call a GG. He, he's trying to hold on, making roaches. We have seven roaches, six hydras on the way to reinforce. He calls GG, and that was the end of that game. Uh, I feel like I played it pretty well, as, you know, I took late upgrades, I was supply blocked a decent amount of the time, which wasn't good either, uh, and my injects, you know, are not perfect, all, you know, obviously, but, well, no, I felt like it was a really, I don't know, I felt really good after that game. Uh, if we go ahead and hop on over to, um, if we go ahead and look at, how do I do it? match history uh, is it this one yeah this one so we had 135 APM we made 75 workers which is really good that's what I've been working on making a lot of workers that's my main priority supply blocked uh, wasn't the greatest um, but if we go ahead and look at the graphs all right I always had a higher armor army value especially at the end but if we look at economy this is really where it's important um, he made a good amount of workers in the beginning but he just didn't continue to make them he didn't continue to keep building more bases so in the end we just managed to overpower him uh our upgrades i took all of my upgrades before him he just couldn't really afford it and uh the resource collection rate you know at he he was higher from uh than me right here this is at like the five minute mark i think this is where i started making a lot of troops so i'm not surprised but we just kept upping our uh, resource gathering rates and he was not able to hold on. Um, I'm really actually kind of happy that I've now managed to uh, record StarCraft in 30 FPS. It's a little bit awkward because I can't really record it while I'm playing live. Um, but I have managed to get it fixed for now. So guys, more StarCraft content on the way. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below as always. And um, yeah, if you did enjoy, I'll definitely see you in the next one.